Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but here at EV Swap, we take cars that are gas and make them electric. Got some updates on the projects this week, so let's get into the video. All right, we got the donor leaf up on the lift so I can start taking out the battery and the motor and everything. Man, that's a heavy car. That's probably the hardest I've ever had pushing a car around the shop on these little dollies. It was just impossible and there's no good place to push on it either. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So this is just a little plastic cover. We'll take that off, expose the battery, and then we'll take this cover off and we'll be able to unplug the battery. And then the battery has like eight or 10 bolts around the circumference, and then it just comes right out. So we'll lower that down on some dollies. And then once the battery's out, we'll start looking towards the front end. We'll get all the damaged metal ripped off and we'll cherry pick the whole motor assembly out the top. And we'll save all the wiring harnesses because we're gonna need that. Let's get to it. Let's go under the leaf. I'll show you how amazingly fresh and clean this thing is. So you can see all of these parts are just so shiny and clean. The brakes, all the, the castings here is just like, it's brand new. This car literally only has 247 miles on it and it was crashed. And uh, everything under here is just like fresh and clean really good donor vehicle i got the battery unplugged i got the plastic trays removed so it's time to go ahead and lower the battery out of the car And just like that, the battery is out of the car. Here it is. So you can see right here, it's a 60 kilowatt hour. So the newest, latest and greatest leaf pack. And these are the vents that equalize the pressure. And this is the battery disconnect, which separates the battery internally into two separate halves. And this box compared to the earlier Leafs with the 30, the 24, 30 and 40 kilowatt hour pack is a couple inches thicker because the modules are obviously larger. But there it is, nearly new pack, 247 miles. So I'll push this aside 
and then we'll start pulling out the motor and the whole motor stack out of the front of the car, the charger, charge ports, all that stuff too. Pulled the uh, motor stack out, as you can see. So that's the uh, leaf motor stack. So as I showed before, the motor is at the very bottom, and then in the middle is the inverter, and then at the top is the PDM, or the charger, DC to DC converter, and power distribution. Then on this side is the gearbox, and that's what we'll remove to connect it to the Toyota transmission. But all in all, I got the motor out and I got the battery out and all the wiring harness came off with the motor. So at this point, all of the parts from the Nissan Leaf for the EV conversion are now removed. Um, some other small parts, the water pump, the radiator, things like that uh, is just bonus. And also luckily, well, I don't know if it's lucky, but the air conditioning on this car was already punctured and it depressurized probably while I was immediately after the wreck or while I was sitting at the Copart lot. So I didn't have to have my buddy come over and remove the, the refrigerant from the AC system. So that's just a benefit, helps me out a little bit, even though it's probably not the best for the environment. But now you can see the leaf is basically empty. Um, it was a little bit of a challenge because of this uh, front crash rail got pushed over a little bit, but I just sawzalled off this bracket here and I was able to get the motor out. No problem, came right out. So that's kind of it on the leaf. All the parts that we need for the Tacoma conversion are now removed. Uh, the rest of it's just gravy. I have this listed on Craigslist. If you out there need any parts for your Nissan Leaf, we've got a nice one. This car only has 247 miles on it, so everything's practically new. Uh, it looks like all four doors are in good shape. The hatch is in pretty good shape. It's got a little dent in the back, but otherwise in good shape. Um, some of the airbags in the seats went off but the interior pieces are in good shape. So if you need any parts for your Nissan Leaf, uh, send me an email or put a comment down below and uh, we'll get you some parts. Next step is I'm going to disassemble the motor stack. I'll remove all the three major components and I'll start mounting the motor up to the transmission. While we're talking about the transmission, I'll show you what I've got going. We've got these cool adapter plates from Brat Industries. Check them out. Brat Industries have been a huge help uh, with all of my projects so far with these Nissan Leaf couplers. And uh, basically what we have here is three adapter plates. So this one here will go on the Toyota. This one goes on the Toyota bell housing like so. And it's nicely CNC'd so it's all perfectly centric and then we have a, a mid plate spacer ring, and then this plate goes to the Nissan Leaf motor itself. So with those three pieces, then we just have a little coupler, a couple inches long that will connect the output from the motor to the input shaft on the transmission. So really great to have cool products like this available for EV conversions. It just takes the guesswork out. You can just click buy, get the parts you need, and build your EV. We got the uh, leaf stripped down, got the front brakes and suspension parts off. I uh, pulled off the driver's door. I'm gonna pull off the other doors in the hatch and put those in storage. I'm gonna try to strip this car down as much as possible before we take it to get scrapped. Um, so yeah, contact me if you need any leaf parts, we got them. Also this week, we got the uh, controller mounted onto the motor. You can see there, and I started messing with the wiring harness. So I got all my wires labeled in the places that they go. And then I did the heavy gauge wire from the controller to the motor. Uh, important note, you want all three of these wires to be about the same length. That way you don't have any uh, mismatched pulses or overheating the motor wire windings. It's just best to keep all those wires the same length and uh, you wanna use a nice hydraulic crimper to crimp on the lugs. And uh, the EV West kit came with this heavy duty heat shrink, which I got on there. So that's all great. 
And I also got the uh, wires pinned for the motor thermistor and um, the position sensor. So that's good to go. This little bundle of wires are wires that I do not think I need to use in the conversion. They're just uh, for other features that we're not using, but I'm gonna keep these uh, long until the last minute, make sure that we're really, we really don't need them. And then I'll cut those short and cap them with some heat shrink. So moving along on the Beetle, moving along on the Tacoma swapped, uh, the Tacoma leaf swap. And um, yeah, just moving ahead with the projects. All right, thanks again for watching another episode of EV Swap. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and hit that little bell notification. All that stuff really helps out with my channel. Also leave a comment if you have any questions about the vehicles or converting your own vehicle. Check out my website at evswapconversions.com and we'll see you here next week. Thanks for watching.